how to build a ice fishing rod holder. Uh, I'll go through all the tools that we're going to need to do this. Uh, I picked up uh, a couple of one by four by, uh, I believe, the six foot boards um, from Home Depot. They were about three fifty each. Uh, I'm going to need a miter saw, a hammer, some nails, uh, a spade bit. Um, if you haven't ever seen that one before, it's uh, one and a half inch. Uh, pencil, a drill, and a tape measure, and then uh, one of these little tools right here. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. So basically I'm going to build it. I'm going to be 22 inches high by 22 inches wide, which should be enough to accommodate six rods. I want to be able to hang it on a wall inside the house. So uh, something that's inexpensive still looks good and, uh, and is uh, obviously easy to build. So we're going to do that today. So I'm going to clean all this up. I'm going to cut the wood down into uh, the 22 inch pieces. Uh, so there'll be five of them total. Uh, a top piece which will have holes in it, a bottom piece which will have holes in it, and then I'll also have the two sides, and then one at the very bottom um, just to hold it so that the rod doesn't fall all the way through. I just want to be able to set it inside of the hole so that it doesn't move around. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just checking to make sure that they are, after the cut, that they are 22 inches. Uh, the very first board that I cut, I actually was just under 22 inches because of the width of the blade. So I just want to make sure that they are 20, uh, 22 inches. Okay, so five pieces that are 22 inches. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of them that I like. I don't have a lot of stuff on them. We want to make sure that the knots aren't showing maybe up front. So we have a nice clean look in the very, very front. Okay, so I'm going to take these. Okay, and I'm going to clamp them down together after I've measured. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure first. We want to do, um, sorry, I'm just going to measure the actual distances here. So two inches. Okay. And then we want to do an inch and a half from there and that'll be our first hole. And then after that, then we're going to do three inches. So we're at three and a half. So then we're going to do six and a half. And we're going to do nine and a half. And we're going to do 12 and a half. And we're going to do 15 and a half. And we're going to do 18 and a half. And then that should be our number. So we've got one hole here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it'll be six holes. And then we measured out in the middle. So this first hole is right here. Will be three and a half inches. And then same thing all the way through. Now we want to measure the middle of the board this way, which is three and a half inches. So it's going to be one and three quarters of an inch, which will put us right here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this, set it up, and I'm going to draw that line all the way through so that we can figure out what our, what our lines are. So I'm going to do, actually, I'll do it this way. I'll do one and three quarters of an inch. I'll mark it on this end. And then I'm going to mark one and three quarters of an inch on this end. And then 
I'll just draw the intersecting line across and then be able to draw the other line across to it. So I am going to need one of these uh, just so I can draw that line out. So if you can see that now, what I've done is I've drawn a line all the way up and that's my intersecting line. So we're now, wherever these are, I'm going to just measure them again just to confirm that I've got them so that I'm at the right. So I'm going to start it to three and a half inches. And then I'm just going to make that mark right at the middle of the board there. So, okay, so now our first line. It's going to be at three and a half inches, which is right there. Our next line is going to be at six and a half inches, which is right there. Our next line is at nine and a half. So I just want to make sure that we're lined up. So our next line is going to be at nine and a half which is right here, 12 and a half, which is right here, 15 and a half, which is right here, and then 18 and a half is our last mark, and it's right there. And those will be our lines. So those will be the center of where I'm gonna put the, the spade bit into, which is this little tool right here. Um, and then what I'll do is I'm gonna drill into them so that I can drill through. So I need to put these two together so that they are in the same spot. Um, just so I don't have to measure out twice, I'm gonna do it all at once uh, and then just set it up. So I'm gonna clamp these things down so that I can uh, I can quickly drill those holes, okay? One second. Okay. So I'm gonna just quickly clamp these two down um, just so that we've got them, the wood is all together and I don't have to worry about uh, it moving while I'm drilling. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to put two pieces of scrap wood down here um, just to actually hold the or just so that I don't drill into anything underneath um, it'll just add a little bit of a cavity underneath so when I do put them down it'll sit on top of it and then I can drill right through okay so I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way so we can do this okay so here's my two pieces of scrap wood. I'm just going to throw this on top and then I'm going to drill those spots using my drill. Okay, so I'm just setting this thing up so I can get the spade bit. Now the nice thing about this one, this is the Irwin spade bit, um, is that it does have a little, the little point that goes right in. So I'm going to make sure I'm lined up on it first and then just push down on high, maybe not on high. Okay, so that's not... Uh, Okay, I'm gonna have to use a different drill. This one isn't, uh, isn't working. So I do have this other smaller rigid drill. I used that one this winter for ice fishing and may have actually messed that up. Oh, 
Okay, so uh, we now have the holes all done. I'm going to take a few seconds, sand things up a little bit around the rough edges, but uh, it should be very, very easy to go together now. I'm going to be able to take the two pieces. Uh, I'm just going to clean this up and I'm be right back with you. Okay, so um, now I have the pieces. So one piece will be the top and one piece will be the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is put one piece underneath it and then connect the four sides so that it looks like this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pound these two together, get them lined up. And then that'll be my hole where the rods will actually go in. So I'm going to take the ugliest looking piece, which is that one. I'm going to put those ugly cuts down and there they go. Okay, so I'm going to take some nails. I put the first one in kind of on the end once I know that things are kind of lined up. Okay, so that's kind of the first one. I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side, which will line everything up. I'm going to add a few more nails. I am going to paint it. I am going to paint it when it's done as well. So, okay, so now. We have one side and the other side will go into it like that as well. I just want to quickly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to start by toenailing two little ones here just so that I know. They're going to go right into the wood there. I'll do two quick little ones on the bottom. I'm going to line that back up again, if you can see that. I'm just going to top them in there. Okay, so that's one. Okay, and then the second one. Okay, so that's one side done. Now this side will be a lot easier to kind of hold up because it'll now have a little bit more stability on that side. Okay, so I'm going to do the exact same thing though. And just quickly nail this together. So, let's make sure that's level there. Okay. Now we'll do the same thing on this end. OK, 
I'll be going close. Who else I'm not? I love it. And the other one's in there. Oh, so that's last night. Uh, just I'm going to start on this corner. I'm going to start That's a little bit twist. I'm going to do what we do together. Um, so, start lining up this side, and then the other side to twist out. Okay, so that side is actually twist up a little bit. So, we'll do the exact same thing. Okay. Now, all you need to do on this thing is I can, I'm going to throw in a couple more nails in the bottom down here just to tighten it up a little bit. But basically now you can varnish it, put a uh, couple of picture hanging pieces on the back here, and then you've got your quick little rod. Okay, so I finished the, um, the rod holder. Um, like I said, I was going with six rods. Uh, I have a few more rods in the garage, but I um, just thought I'd throw them up here just to kind of quickly show you. Instead of going with the stain on there, I decided to go with a matte black uh, finish just so it kind of matched some of the other stuff that was in the room, some of the, the pictures and stuff that are in here. So um, again, you can do any color that you want. Um, this this really, the budget costs really nothing. So paint was, uh, I think, six bucks. Uh, the three pieces, or sorry, the two pieces of wood were seven seven fifty. And then the picture hangers were like two bucks uh, for the box. So um, again, it's kind of a neat little design. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe.